Okay, today we are going to speak about the autoscaler in our Oracle Kubernetes engine, uh, which is our solution to manage a Kubernetes cluster on Oracle Cloud infrastructure. So as you can see on my screen, I have a cluster named my OK demo cluster. And in this cluster, I have a node pool, a managed node pool, where I have three worker nodes. Okay. So three worker nodes here. Remember on OK, the pods will run on the worker nodes. And each worker node here is just a simple VM. Okay. So each worker node here is a simple VM on compute instance. You can see that each worker node is a VM with two OCPU and 32 gigabyte memory. Remember, one OCPU is two thread. It means considering the point of view of OKE, we have three VM, two OCPU. Each OCPU is two CPU, considering the point of view of OK. So we have 12 CPU available to run here, to run pods, OK? Just if you want to have a look, a look here, I did deployment, OK, to show you the deployment. I use this image that is an image used by the Kubernetes documentation, okay, where you see that I'm going to use one CPU and memory, and I want for each pad to use one CPU, okay? I have a deployment with three pods now, and you can look at the three pods here, and you can see that I have one pod per worker node. Okay. The goal is to increase the deployment to 18 and to see how our Kubernetes cluster will scale up and auto scale up. To do that, I need to install the autoscaler. To install the cluster autoscaler, the cluster autoscaler is just an OCI implementation of the Kubernetes autoscaler. Okay. And to install the autoscaler, I have two options. I can install the autoscaler as a cluster add-on. Here I'm using an unset cluster. It means I can manage the add-on automatically. And for example, if I want, I can deploy the cluster autoscaler automatically. An instant cluster has another nice feature that is a not cycling auto update, but it's not the topic for this video. Okay. And the second option is to deploy a standard program cluster autoscaler. And so to deploy a pod with some nice metrics on this OK cluster. I choose this option to work with a cluster autoscaler as a standalone program. Then you can have a look to the documentation and to see how to deploy this autoscaler. It's very simple. You have a sample YAML file for Kubernetes. And the key point here is I had this option, skip nodes with system pods, okay, to false. It means if the autoscaler see that we have internal Kubernetes pods on the worker node, then it's not a problem to delete it in order to save money. 
and then this internal pod will go to another worker node, okay? If I don't use this option, then I will be able to auto scale. So what I want to show you is that we will auto scale to three worker nodes to six worker nodes. But in this case, it is possible that I have some internal pods from Kubernetes in the default, in the namespace, sorry, uh, cube system that will be on the new worker nodes. And in this case, if I don't use this option, I will not be able to scale down. That's why I use the auto scaler as a standard program. And I had this option in order to be able to scale down. Okay. This file again is given by the documentation. You have nothing to do just to add this option and to deploy this Kubernetes stack in our OK cluster using kubectl. OK, now I'm going to increase the deployment okay, to 18. OK, and we will see the result of the cluster autoscaler. OK, just for information, when I'm doing an update in order to increase the replica of this deployment to 18. In fact, I'm doing the job of an other autoscaler that could be the horizontal cluster autoscaler. So I could use the two autoscaler together, the horizontal cluster autoscaler, in order to increase the number of replica of my pod regarding a matrix. For example, with this metric is over 200, said I need to create one more pod. And the horizontal autoscaler, we ask for having more pods. But after a time, the cluster will see that, oh my God, I have not enough TPU to deploy all the pods, and now I need to create new worker node. Looking here at here, I give here a parameter and say, I want all this node pool. So the node pool I show to you, three minimum worker node and a maximum of six worker nodes. OK, so let's go and I'm going to increase the number of pods to 18. But knowing that I have a maximum of 12 CPU on my node pool for the moment, then the autoscaler will create new worker node. And what's more, you need to understand that I have a lot of internal pods for the Kubernetes system, and these pods are consuming CPU. So it means that on my node pool, I don't really have 12 CPU available for my pods. I have less than that, OK? So now we will wait two minutes and I will come back to show you the result. OK, the auto scale up is now done. As you can see in my node pool, I have not three worker nodes, but I have six worker nodes. I can confirm that looking at compute instance, and I have six VM running and executing my pod. Now, during the auto scale, I did some kubectl get pods, and you can see that at start, I saw pods with the status pending. It means 
Kubernetes wanted to start pods, but discover that there is no more CPU for these pods. And then the autoscaler said, OK, I need to create more worker node. The autoscaler decided to create three more worker node in order to be able to run all the 18 pods. On the second command line, I saw less pending. And at the end, I got no pending and all the pods are running. And we can check that. Now we have 18 pods running on our six worker node. Nice. Okay, now we are going to do a scale down. So I'm going to ask for having only three pods and I have that the number of APK to three. Let's go. I ask for adding three pods. Then it will take a few minutes to scale down and I will come back in a few minutes. Okay. Now the auto scale down is done. As you can see in my node pool, I have only three worker node. And on compute instance, I can see that three worker node were terminated due to the auto scale down. Okay get pods, only three pods, because that's what I asked for, three replica. At start, I have six node, six node, six node, oh, six node, but three with scheduling disabled. Okay. And at the end, I only have three worker node. Okay. So what you see is a very nice feature concerning OK on OCI, the ability to scale up automatically and to scale down automatically. That's very, very nice because you can imagine that you will save a lot of money using this feature and you can mix the horizontal scaler and the cluster autoscaler in order to have this kind of architecture that will create VM for you and that we deploy all your new pods, but you have nothing to manage. It is automatic. So a very nice feature. And sure, this is Kubernetes. This is due to Kubernetes, sorry. Kubernetes is very nice technology that allows to do to do that. Thank you for your attention.